Hello everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with Stock Swish and reviewing the overall market. So we gapped down today and fell quite significantly actually. Today was what I would call a power trend day in the market. Rare that the market ever power trends up and or down. Today was a power trend day and it happened to be to the downside. We were already in puts, overnight puts, which captured this move. So that was a good call by me. If you were on the options newsletter, you got those trades, you were in those trades, and then we're able to capture the drop today. A lot easier to already be in something and then it gaps in your favor overnight. A lot easier to manage the trade. And of course, those are sometimes the most profitable trades. Where do we go tomorrow? Well, right now we're gapping down. We closed at 374.39. We're down a little bit. We're down about 40 cents. We were down a little bit more earlier. We were around 373.80 or getting close to that. We're gapping down right now tonight. So I do think we gap down further tomorrow morning and continue to fall Thursday. Thursday is tomorrow. Friday's the last day of the week. There's too many wild cards that could, you know, affect the market Thursday night into Friday. Friday's the unemployment number, and Thursday night are two big earnings, Apple and Amazon. So I have no idea what the market does Friday and won't until I see those earnings tomorrow night and then Friday morning's economic data. But for now, I don't think anything's going to stop this market from continuing to sell off for yet another day, at least for the next 24 hours. And again, there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of reasons you can say this market is falling. But the fact is, it's falling. And one of the reasons I prefer to short is because selling action happens faster than going higher, buying. So people think about buying, they do not think about selling. I like the panic that comes in in shorts. Again, I had called puts on the options newsletter in the market and they weren't. So looking forward to tomorrow to see where this market goes. Um, and again, today is only August 2nd. It's only August 2nd today. Like we're not even a week into August and look at this market already. So a bleak start to the summer month of August for the market. And I cannot wait to see where we're gonna go tomorrow. In fact, let me just, let me just look at something here while we're, where do we open for the year? Okay, we open for the year. We gapped up and fell the first day of the year, but January 3rd we open we open the year 268.65. So we're still 100 points over the open for the year. This is 2023. Again, we're seven months into the year. All right, that's good to, good to know. But we're down here tonight. We are down. Down, diddly, down, down, do. So congratulations to everybody that made money in the trains. If you're still in trains, how hold the conviction, and we'll see where we go. If you are interested in learning how I'm able to predict that this would happen this week, email me at melissathestockswish.com. I teach people my gap rating method in a class once a month. The next class is August 19th and 20th. Good luck, everybody. And email me if you want to sign up for the class.